Hey guys, this is HBK Grant from the Dark Shinobi. So I'm making a video about uh, the arrival of Acolytes, which will be arriving next week around August 6th to 7th, 2018. So mostly a lot of people have already informed or like al already are informed that they will be arriving. But I wanted to uh, explain like the strategy or like what type of uh, Acolytes will be arriving and the mods that they drop. So before we start everything, like I would discuss like the Warframe frame or like the sentinel and like your gear what you should have in there now two warframes i honestly like say the fastest one like if you can get a team that will be superb but if you can't i would say just stick with uh mag and then after that you can actually for your sentinel you can go for a helios prime or a helios regular one now reason why I say that while you're killing the enemy it will scan that especially if this is your first time uh, scanning the acolytes. Now if you go here into the gear section make sure the codex scanner is attached because it, it will be required for the helios to scan the enemy or like the acolytes for the, in this case. So make sure either you have mag you can just use her third ability on the uh, which is called the polarize on the stalker family or like whichever acolyte arises and then you could just like one shot it almost like honestly like that's how fast it is. But there is a problem like sometimes it puts you into deep defense missions survival missions or like some missions that like require like five minute wait time so having a fast nova especially in a defense mission that'd be the most important thing to do so like make sure you have a fast nova on your team because that can get the job done faster and i'll explain a little bit about it uh, once we get across to the navigation menu and like how it will appear for you guys so honestly uh, once again like mag would be the best one to take with you because of her third ability and it can instantly kill the acolyte so that way you can get the out of the mission faster and get into another mission uh to get the acolyte uh, whereas having a fast nova on the team would be a plus because like it could just make everything go smoother and faster especially in the case of um you're going against in a defense mission because it takes a long time for enemies to come to the pod and whatnot and if you use a fast nova it will be a lot quicker and you can probably do maybe two or maybe up to three runs uh, of like acolytes if you don't do it that way it's probably possibly like you'll be only like uh, getting one chance at a time now if you have the helios why i said you need a helios and a codex scanner in your gear that is because over here so a lot of people don't know about this codex part like this is one of the most important areas of the game especially for a new player but even if you are, are if you didn't know about this you can always come here and everything that you scan or like the helios is scanning for you uh, that is something basically uh you will uh, get assist in the codex right here so we can go to the faction menu right here and I can go all the way to the stalker family. So these are all the types of stalkers beside Misery. I never got the chance to scan her because she was there for only like an hour and she never spawned after that. Like it's been two years, she did never, they never released her. So hopefully this time we get to see her. But uh, I wanna start with angst. So like you'll see them in like various numbers, but like uh, these three, like uh, torment, violence, or malice, like they're usually at the end side of the uh, event, where like usually towards the end or like maybe in the middle area. But I don't know which order they will be introduced, but I will explain like the angst is one of the first ones. So they're kind of like a mixture of Warframes. So you might actually see like someone that would look like Valkyr, somebody would look like Limbo, somebody would look like something. So like they're always like a mixture of like, so it's kind of like a... Uh, a, a devilish side of uh, warframe so that's that's pretty cool like and that's what something i really look forward to if like uh, de actually introduces but anyway uh, uh i'm getting carried away with the chat but uh what's going on here is like the angst so you have to scan them like three times if you see right here right on this menu you'll see a three out of three so that's what your helios is supposed to do once you have it uh, scanned three out of three times, it will tell you what drops it does. And one of the uh, scans I'm missing, and it will, expl uh, will that will explain to you like why scans are important. Uh, so having scans of uh, an enemy can actually in, uh, help you understand what they will be dropping. So angst will be dropping body count, repeated clip, spring-loaded chamber, pressured uh, pressurized magazine. 
then next up is mania now mania uh, will be dropping a uh, cataclysm a uh, catalyzer uh, link uh, embedded catalyzer weeping wounds and nano applicator uh people don't use the other three besides the weeping wounds usually for the melee but like nano applicator is a pretty awesome mod as well and again three scans are required in order to see all of that the shadow stalker is the stalker that everybody faces once you have done the second dream quest you start getting marked by a shadow stalker if you haven't done the second dream quest you'll be marked by a stalker which is a regular one uh and then the third one is a uh, torment now this one is what people usually uh wait for she kind of looks like mesa uh in the stalker form and whatnot so like that's what it is but uh that's what i think at least and uh, you again have to do three scans right there and then the drops hydraulic crosshairs blood rush which a lot of people look for for your melee uh, it's kind of like a critical chance thing like multiplier then you got the uh, laser sight and then you got the argon scope which gives you critical chance on headshots on your rifles so these are like kind of like really important ones so like this is the argon scope which everybody kind of looks for um next up is violence now she drive uh, she kind of like reminds you of uh, uh me of at least limbo and but like again three scans right there and then she drops um sharp nulled shot bladed rounds sharpened bullets and then maiming strike now coming with the damage 3.0 just so everybody knows uh, the uh, maiming strike will not be as effective as it used to be but still it will be overpowered because like uh, melee cannot be destroyed that much so we'll have to see when the update arrives but like maiming strike is the highest uh, uh, like um, expensive mod out of all the uh, acolyte mods basically and then the second number is for argon scope but that's like what it is for like this is what they will be dropping and then malice right there so i did not scan it uh the third time so i guess like i didn't over farm it but this time when he uh like malice appears then i'll do it, it this looks like a kind of like frost to me honestly but uh that's like how it is so if you s skip a scan see you're gonna miss uh like the drops so i don't know i don't remember uh, what it dropped but like you could see the third first three though focus defense guidance ordinance targeting subsystem so but that's basically why helios and a codex scanner is really important for the acolytes now uh i don't have the other one and hopefully this time they do release misery i wanted to see her even last year but they did not uh there was no um uh like time for misery or something like that in the event and i never got to see her now how this will work is like if you go to the navigation menu you know how you see this alert right here ghoul purge the alert for the acolytes will be just like here now the only thing is they will disappear for a while and then there will be like a beacon or like a signal that it will sh uh, shoot out every like 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes that uh, like for example torment has been spotted in saturn for example right and then you will you can go into missions right away if you want to and it has a chance of uh, him spawning but if you wait like few minutes it will actually give you a proper mission so and then those missions could be like a cod like if you have gone to like a cod on Ser uh, eris like this one so like it will be missions like those so it's easier to uh, see them over here now if you have that combo like with a mag and like uh, fast nova or something like that and you end up going into a defense mission it's honestly it will be way faster and you can come in and come out again uh into the mission so that's pretty much how it's gonna be and you're gonna see like a bar just like this one and it will show you every time uh like it's at 80 percent 60 percent 50 percent and as soon as the bar hits zero the new acolyte will appear and you will have to do the same thing usually generally they leave it out there for 24 hours for a per um or what you might call it acolyte but uh as anything could happen this time i'm not sure because they usually like switch it up every time they uh they introduce it but that's how it's gonna be and one last fact is that when these mods appear in the game like when acolytes are here for next week 
every my maiming strike argon skull blood rush all these mods will be uh, devastatingly like uh cheaper honestly like the, it hits the uh, prices really hard so for example on pc maiming strike was going for like 400 450 now it's going for 200 uh p uh, p uh, ps4 uh, maiming strike was for example going for like 200 150 and now people are selling it for 100 75 even 50 platinum on xbox it's the similar case people were selling it for 350 400 uh it dropped down to 300 and then i saw saw it for like 150 to 200 so like because i do play on all three platforms and i do have a general idea so do not go to warframemarket.com uh, because that will not help you with these things because like you have to go stay in the market um, and if you do need help with that you could always message me on uh, discord i will share the link for discord you can look it in my bio or uh, or you could also comment and i can always answer for that one as well on the comment section below on the youtube video so apart from that, if you guys have any questions, any comments, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, this is HBK Grant signing off. Have a great one, guys. Take it easy.